Welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> So before we get into this message, I wanted to let you guys know I'm a music artist. I sing and I rap. You can go check out my music and my music videos on my playlist on this channel. Also, I have a new music video coming out this month. It's called Run the City. I have a preview of that video and I'll put the link in the comments for that. I would love for you guys to check that out and I, love, I would love for you guys to support me when that music video does come out, okay? So, yeah, with that being said, <clears throat> let's get into the video. The message of today is a major power shift is happening on all levels of the economy and industries. You were chosen to lead, speak, and shift the nation into this new earth, okay? So, with the number eight being the universal number of this year, <clears throat> I immediately seen in my mind's eye the Eight of Wands, <clears throat> which has all everything to do with communication. So this year is all about speaking your truth, voicing how you feel um, towards anything. It's all about communication is about get, this year with you voicing your opinion, you're going to awaken the minds of God's people you're going to raise the consciousness of the earth I'm hearing these affirmations that you're saying are extremely powerful and you speaking affirmations over your children's lives or over um the people around you you speaking life into these people um I'm seeing a lot of things happening online or on the news with the page of swords coming up um, with this page, I'm just seeing like childish ass energy. Sorry that I have to cuss, but it's like, it's going to be some reckless mouth talking online about something. Some truth is being told, but the way it's coming out, it's not like, Hey, this is what they did today. No, they're going to be like that month. They, they did. You know what I mean? That's how it's going to be. It's going to be like, you know, like that. The, how can I word it? It's like a worldly argument is what I'm hearing. A world rage is what I'm hearing. Um, yes, it's years of abundance. Yes, it's of blessings. But it's also of destruction. It's also of realignment. It's also of uh, division from the dimensions that no longer um, align. So... There's a lot of things happening, power shifts that are happening within these industries um, and in corporations. Um, a lot of things are being brought to the surface, things that have been hidden. I'm, I'm seeing an iceberg and you know how you only see the tip. Uh, the government only shows us the tip of their iceberg, right? And they got all this bullshit under, right? But now that iceberg is rising and you're going to see the, how big the situation was, how, how big the illusion was, the illusion is falling, right? But it's really going to fall this year, especially when it comes to the food that we eat, the medicines, um, the justice system, um, the music industry, um, any industry, like I can't go down the whole list, but what I'm saying is anything that you're interested in. And you, you see it, it's a big corporation, like billions and millions are being made um, and where the power lies, where people have lots of power. There's certain people who had power for so long 
aka the elites and the Jew or the people, the Jews who told, who stole the, they stole the name, right? And they call themselves Jews. But, um, you know, the black people are really Jews. Certain black people would be claiming that. But with that being said, they have the power and it's being taken from them. The rug is being pulled from their feet. I'm seeing billionaires, millionaires, like declining in their finances, a, a huge decline in their power, um, a huge decline in their position. Um, and another thing, I've seen how they were like saying on on Instagram, oh, they're distracting us with the Diddy thing and everything. No, Diddy needs to be exposed regardless. He was just a very known person. And yes, now he's all over everywhere, right? It wasn't really to distract us or I didn't view it as a distraction. I wasn't really, okay, I heard about it, but I'm not sitting here and tuned every single second of the day. It's just, a, I'm just like, okay, this is what's going on. Okay, this is what's going on. Okay, cool. Now, where do I lie in this situation? If I don't align in that situation, I'm not putting my energy towards that. But hey, there's a lot of sleep people who are just so hyper-focused on that. And it may, it may distract them, you know? But they were saying like, why they exposing diddy there they did like this whole they signed something to the point where we can't vote or our vote basically doesn't matter anymore it never mattered regardless if we were allowed to vote or we were not allowed to vote they still they make laws every single day that we don't know about it's so much laws but the most important laws are the ones that were way they are done years and de decades ago okay those are the laws that can actually help us, but they put so much up so that we have to go through so many of them to find something that benefits us. But I say, you know, I'm a rebel. I feel like my star family is a rebel too. We don't conform. Uh, we're not compromising this year for no government, no nothing. Like I will pave the way like we did back in the day. Okay. Before we had a government, there was like, life existed before the government, you know, life existed before the the power uh what what am i calling them what do we call it? elites um the world leaders it existed before that so we're just going back to basics you know taking our power back this year is where us as god's people will be taking our power back and standing up for ourselves standing up for our birth right you know and all i gotta say is regardless if they allow us to vote or not vote the thing is we are distracted by by work by what we view as vacation, what we view as um, success. You know, sometimes our views of success, our perspective or perception of success is different than what they see. And they're like, yeah, let them get that, that house and that car. Yeah, they feel successful. They'll, they'll sit down in their house. They'll just chill out while we do all this stuff around here. We got to view success bigger than just a house, bigger than just a car, bigger than just this job, you know? Even though it's a job that I... Hey, I love music. Music is my life, but that's just a stepping stone for me in this life. It's not something where I'm stopping. I'm not like, oh, I'm famous now. Let me just do music and let me just go on vacations now. I made it. Yes, I finally know I didn't make it. I just begun. Like this is, is, I'm just starting. Like that's how I feel. You know, like when you're on the Monopoly game or something, you you at start, like. I finally got on the map, you know, like the map of the Monopoly. I'm finally here. Now I got to keep going. I got more cycles that I got to go through, more obstacles, you know, uh, more challenges. Like it doesn't get easier. I just get stronger. And that's the thing that we're going to learn this year. It, it, it's just like, you know, when you when you play the game and you go up the levels, does it get easier or does it get harder? But you still beat the game, right? And that's exactly what we're doing. We're beating this game of life. We're beating the game of the government. We're beating the game of the matrix. And this is going to be a major breakthrough for us as God's people who are desiring to ascend, are desiring to live in our calling. So with that being said, you may have a platform or you may already be exposing the truth about something. Um... You're taking off the blindfolds of God's people. It's like you're awakening God's people left and right. And with you giving people this information, you're calling judgment on a situation. And it's like you could be doing this on a large scale. Like is what I'm seeing. You could or some people be scared to speak up about some 
some crazy sh that's going on. But I'm hearing that you you're very vocal, and like I said, with the a lot of things that are hidden are going to be revealed. It's bound to be revealed this year, you know, and it's already happening. It's already happening. Um, it's like. The smoke is going to be cleared after that. The storm is coming. They were saying like last year was the calm before the storm. The storm is coming now. Um, but it's like we're going to be able to navigate through this storm, through through the the chaos of this life and this year. Um, I'm not scared of chaos. <laughs> One thing that I was built to do is thrive in chaos. Um, I don't fold under pressure, Okay. And that's what I'm feeling with God's people. We don't fold. But the thing is, we all got to step up and motivate each other and pour, pour power into each other to let us know. Like, if we collect, connect as one, we are going to outrule, overrule. We are going to kick the elites, the government, all, all of their ass. Okay? We're going to chew their ass up and spit their ass out. And that comes with all industries that are doing things of um, not treating our people right. You know? Not giving us enough money, uh, giving us the putting chemicals and poisons in our food, right? They getting karma for all that shit, poisoning our water, right? Yeah, you getting karma for that shit, like all that shit coming. It's coming, you know. You you wanted to take part in the depopulation of the earth, okay, okay. So now we finna come and depopulate your ass, okay? Sorry, I'm so sorry. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am not sorry. Okay, that's just the truth. I'm not sorry. This year, we cutting, we slitting throats, okay? When it comes to the other side, okay? The other side is about to fall this year. That's all I have to say. The other side will fall, will crumble. There are towers that they built. You know, God says he likes to... He likes to watch them build up so high, like the Eiffel Tower, just so they can fall. When it falls, it's, it's funny. It's funny to God when they fall. That's why he's like, no, no, keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. He had told them to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it for years, for decades, for centuries. Keep doing it because it's going to crumble down. But the thing is, we have, some of us have become so codependent to the government. To the point where when they fall and when things corrupt, we will feel the effects of it, right? But that's why we have to become independent. And shit, I'd be codependent to God, to the universe. I have no problem doing that. We we have to detach ourselves from this world and attach ourselves, reattach ourselves to our highest power and to our God, right? So we are awakening the people around us to do the same, right? And once we get so many people to do the same... We are <laughs> undefeatable, unstoppable, invincible. Like, literally, we got to embody this power that God has given us. Every day, say, I embody my God-given power. Every second of the day, anytime you feel weak, anytime you feel fear, I embody the power of my highest form from all the dimensions in my past lives. I embody all the strength, all the wisdom. You breathe it in. You know, we are powerful. They will bow down to us. Because we have allowed them to rule for a little too effing long. Okay. So, yes, shifts in power. Guess what? I'm going to be at the top. We're going to be at the top. Claim your position. Because I'm claiming mine. I'm claiming mine this year, okay? I'm going to be there. I'm going to see you there. But guess what? We're going to see them at the ground or in the graveyard. They're going to be at the bottom or underground. Not talking about all the underground and living underground. No. They bodies. Deep. Oh, shoot. Lord, sorry. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. I'm sorry, you guys. But <laughs> my soul is not playing when it comes to injustice and this is just the tip of the iceberg of me i don't even know my fullest potential at this moment but this year i'm going to awaken to a deeper broader more powerful bold side 
And I feel like that's what's happening with my star family. I love you guys so much. I thank you guys so much for being here. Like, I'm really, I was going to say, I'm really advanced. We're really advanced souls, okay? It's just, we've been asleep. But this year is going to awaken the beast in us, you know? I'm ready. So I hope you're ready to speak that truth. You got a platform. You better speak it. Speak that injustice. Anything that's going on, any lies, any deceit, please speak up about it. You know, share your truth. If you find out something, I don't care if you've seen it in another video. If you got a platform, speak it, share it on your on your video too. I mean, on your page too. Like share. It's like I'm hearing like rumors, but not in a bad way, not lies. It's just spreading the truth like wildfire. That's how that's how it happens. I say something, then you say something, then your friends say something, then your cousin say something, then your dog say something, then your cat. Like I'm serious <laughs> about it. Like. When it comes to speaking the truth, everybody needs to hear it. And it's not, oh, I'm stealing information from them. No, they heard it from somebody else. So now you tell it to somebody else who doesn't know. You're helping spread the truth. So that's what I'm seeing. And it's going to put you in a higher power. Um, it's gonna God's going to put you in a higher level because God wants the truth speakers out here. He wants to see. He's watching right now. Who's going to tell the truth? Who's going to share what I, what needs to be told? Not just saying this rah, rah, blah, blah shit. Not just babbling. Who is going to actually shine light in the dark? Who is actually going to bring justice to this earth? That's who I'm going to put in a high position. So do you want to be in a high position? That's your question. Because if you do, be ready and stand up for God's people, you know? And when you get in that position, help God's people. Build new foundations for God's people. Do what you can. Do everything you can for God's people. Also, duh. Yeah, put yourself first. I don't want to say duh. I feel like I'm talking to myself too. Like, duh, we are, put yourself first too. But definitely have God's people at the top of your list to bless and to, to raise. Like, raise their frequency. Raise their standards of living. Raise their lifestyle. Like, but yeah. But that's what I got for you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.